This reading I'm going to do is a short reading um, and it's with an oracle card deck. It is called the Spirit Speak Oracle Deck, um, which is by Mary Elizabeth Evans. And it's a really sweet deck actually. Um, the illustrations are all like hand drawn, freehand. And um, if you can see on the back, kind of example of them. And it's all about um, emotions really. Um, so it's basically um, what emotional issue do I need to work on right now is what we're gonna focus on for this reading because that's, that's how these cards work best. Um, and yeah, so if you're feeling like kind of like blocked or stuck at the moment and you're not quite sure why, or you're feeling uncomfortable inside, you know, um, feeling restless or feeling anxious, but you can't quite place where it's coming from, this deck's really useful in pinpointing the issue and then allowing you to like push forward to release it. Um, so I'm going to shuffle the cards. Um, and we'll see what comes up. Okay, so two cards came out. So what the cards are telling us is we've got rest and we've got support so these are the two things that you're lacking right now in your life um, and that's why you're feeling a bit restless or a bit sad or a bit down um, so in the um, in the rest card like are you sleeping properly are you sleeping deeply enough at night um, are you taking the necessary preparations to make sure that your sleep space is a sanctuary yeah it's a place of healing a place of rest a place of recovery so you know perhaps you need to um, make your bedroom more peaceful, more cozy, more relaxing. Maybe you need to light candles when you go, you know, be while you're in bed um, reading before you go to sleep. Obviously, make sure you blow them out before you go to sleep. Um, or, you know, put a diffuser on by the bedside with some relaxing oils in it, like lavender, perhaps. Um, maybe you need to you know have a special blanket to make that space feel safer and um, you can get these amazing blankets nowadays that are weighted blankets and they really help you to feel kind of like emotionally safe and held um, so that you can relax and just let go um, so I yeah, maybe need to you know kind of take um, a nice relaxing Epsom salt bath um, with um, you know some detox oils in it before you go to sleep or some relaxing oils in, in it like the lavender again um, just to kind of help you unwind um, so that when you get into bed you're feeling more relaxed and more peaceful and then you can sleep um, you know try and figure out what it what it is blocking you from resting and maybe it's not resting at night maybe you're sleeping fine during the night but during the day you're really restless and you're kind of pacing around your your space you know wherever you are um, working from um, perhaps you're like just you know climbing the walls pacing around you feel really restless you feel like you've got energy that you need to burn and so perhaps it's here and you need to be more peaceful and more restful and just take time to like you know shut your eyes and meditate maybe once an hour for 30 seconds to a minute um, or just do some gentle yoga stretches for five minutes once every hour, you know, try and kind of think creatively about this, um, what, what the solution might be for you. Um, but it's, it's definitely kind of like urging you to shut your eyes so that you can rest and to make that space, that restful space, really relaxing and really really connected yeah connected to your environment connected to the sky and the night and the stars and the energy that they contain um, 
and just allowing yourself to like switch off and shut down and be silent um, and still and restful. So that was that card. And then the next card, the support card. This card's all about emotions. Like it's, it's emotional support that you need. You need more love. Um, cups in the tarot sim symbolize, you know, romance and love. Um, the love of others for us and love of ourself for ourself. Um, and water is also a really emotional element. It's, um, water is, is about the energy moving through us, the emotions moving through us. It's about um, sadness and grief and, you know, just like the discharging of emotions. And so it's kind of like suggesting that maybe, maybe there is a lot of sadness inside you that's trapped that you need to release, need to let go of. And this sadness is, is disempowering you it's like your your kundalini energy uh, your life force that kind of serpent that runs through um, the middle of the spine in the kind of yogic um, tradition um, is is out of alignment yeah it's not it's not moving in the right way and so therefore you're kind of you're you're upside down you're on your head you're not you're not empowered kind of like falling instead of growing um, and that's because there's all of this sadness inside this grief that just needs to come out and be cleansed and um, and and then needs to you need to like it's like you've got all of these cups yeah and these cups are full of emotion and they need to be emptied and as each one empties it's like if you can see in the picture yeah it's like each one empties into the next, empties into the next, empties into the next. So it's not just about emptying the first cup. It's like the, then the second cup holds twice as much. Then the third cup holds three times as much. So it's about like understanding that, that you have to move through this, this passage, this rite of passage almost of emotional healing um, in order to, to, to get to that place of... of rest and peace and feeling alive and rejuvenated and vital and energetic and purposeful and strong and courageous and healthy um, but you, you need to move through the layers of healing and grieving and shedding and surrendering and um, this card is like kind of illustrating that the journey is a bit like the shape of a snake as well it's a bit winding it's backwards and forwards and it's not it's not a straight path so you can't just do a little bit of releasing and then hey everything's fine it's saying no when you do a little bit of releasing and you've released it from that cup but then you've added it to another cup and then that cup's going to feel heavier and you have to do a little bit of releasing and then that gets added to that cup so it's almost like when we talk about like the five stages of grief for example it's like you move through the different stages of grief and we move backwards and forwards through them but like you know you're the first you're in shock and and then you're in anger and then you and you have grief and sadness and fear and hope and overwhelm and denial and acceptance and you know the, the, all of these things come into those five stages of grief but we move backwards and forwards through all of those emotions all of the time um it's not linear that 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 path of um of grieving is not linear it moves backwards and forwards and that's the same here with the healing it's not linear it's going to move backwards and forwards and each time you shed one layer you might move into another emotion so maybe you start off feeling really really sad but then you're going to move into perhaps anger and then you might move into um, you know kind of like feeling numb and disconnected and so you're not not Nothing, nothing is, is going in, nothing is resonating. So there's no, there's no comfort, there's no connection, there's no love. Um, the, the, the support cannot get in until you then move into the next stage where you open up again. And then perhaps it's overwhelm, perhaps it's fear. Um, 
and then you move into the a next another stage and maybe that one's hope or maybe that's acceptance and it goes round and round until finally you get there and then this card is basically saying that as as you go through this this healing yeah like this healing that needs to be done um if you look to find support from your surroundings yeah whether that's from your family or your friends whether that's from a therapist um, or whether that's just from yourself and with the help of your mentors so maybe your mentors you know you listen to a certain podcast show um, every week or every day maybe these people can offer you support and they can be your mentor um, maybe you know you follow um, a certain person on youtube for example to do meditation or to do yoga those people can help you and be your mentors your support during this time so whoever brings you comfort and joy and lifts you up on a daily basis um, you, you can you can always reach to them to help support you in your self-care um, without forgetting that like fundamentally who, who you are to you is the most important of all so how can you be more loving and supportive to yourself can you perhaps improve your diet can you perhaps take more breaks during the day um, how about walks in nature what about the time that you go to bed um, what is it that you're listening to every day you know are you filling your mind with with uplifting powerful hopeful um, motivating things or are you filling your mind with fear and stress and anger and um, you know just like um, kind of like junk escapism on Netflix for example um, so just think about what you're putting in because what you're putting in is the seed that will then grow the tree and you are a beautiful tree and you want to keep growing your tree healthy and you want to keep producing um, beautiful vibrant life-filled life-sustaining fruit um, so it's kind of like allow yourself to be supported while you go through this healing that you need to go through this shedding of this excess emotion it's like you have a black cloud of emotion over your head and it needs to be released it needs to be cleansed in order for you to to move into a more peaceful space and at the same time as you are doing this healing and you're supporting yourself make sure you are giving yourself adequate rest because rest is um, where a lot of healing takes place. It's where the body goes into repair during the night when it's not having to work so hard to do other things. That's when you know we, we, we start to like rejuvenate ourselves and everything and we can cleanse and detox. And also when the mind is able to process the events of the day and the events of like past days and, and then to, to work through them and release them. So, those are the two card suggestions for you to work on today from that deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to um, find out uh, more about my decks um, and perhaps get an oracle reading or a tarot reading with um, this deck or one of my other decks, please do get in contact with me either in the comments here or um, perhaps uh, look to my website lemonrosepetals.com to find my email to send me an email um, and you can also find me on instagram at lemonrosepetals um, so yeah i look forward to hearing from you i welcome your messages your comments your feedback and um, if you have any questions do please let me know